airports can be busy places, with lots of people, luggage, and cases moving all around. It's safe to assume that going through airport security is nobody's favorite part of traveling. Waiting in lines, taking off coats and shoes, taking electronics out of your bag, and who else always forgets to empty their water bottle? Imagine how security feels. In these next videos, we're going to explore the shocking discoveries that are a daily part of these hardworking people's lives. It's weirder than you think. 15 Craziest Things Found by Airport Security A different type of stowaway. Having security make a home visit doesn't sound like much of a picnic for anyone. But in this case, the people in question were thankful for what they found before things got even worse. A couple was on their way back home in the United Kingdom after finishing up a holiday in France when they heard an unsettling noise coming out of their luggage. The storage box was on top of their car as they drove, but they were positive that there was something bumping around in it. After assessing the situation, they contacted the local police, who opened the box very carefully. What they found was a hidden stowaway from Sudan. The police eventually arrested the man hiding away in their luggage, although how he found his way inside without being detected for so long is still a mystery. In a similar story, two migrants from Africa were also found trying to get past the Spanish border via mattresses. Spain's civil guard had to remove the mattresses from a van and cut them open to find the migrants after the driver fled on foot. The migrants admitted to paying $5,100 each to be sealed away in hopes of reaching a new start in Spanish territory. Traveling sure has gotten expensive these days. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Anyone who travels a lot knows this experience in an airport all too well. Body scanners. They're not just technology and science fiction anymore, and they're designed for one specific reason, to find things. Body scanners use a technology called Advanced Imaging Technology for full body scans at airport checkpoints. It's a wave scanner that detects a wide range of metallic and non-metallic threats in a manner of seconds. So clearly, when this young person in this image went to get scanned, something looked pretty unusual hiding underneath her tank top. Smugglers have resorted to some creative schemes to sneak all sorts of contraband past police and border guards. And recently, a 28-year-old woman arriving at an airport in Spain aroused the suspicion of border agents after she answered some routine questions in an irregular way. Agents then conducted a body search, during which they noticed two plastic bags containing illegal substances had been surgically inserted under each breast implant. As for this alarming body scan captured on this image, we can't quite figure out what exactly she's concealing in her body. Any guesses? Use the comments to express yourselves. Hashtag sweet topic. <coughs> Baby turtles aboard. Turtles may be an easy house pet to watch over, but this might be going overboard. Thousands of turtles have been attempted to be smuggled through airports across the world, from Shanghai to Malaysia and India. But these exotic turtles aren't the kind you'd find at your local pet store. The sea turtles discovered in India are very rare and endangered, making this smuggling attempt a high-class crime. In Shanghai, over 2,000 endangered turtles were found hidden in a container meant for crabs. These included black pond turtles, and Buena box turtles and pig nose turtles that can all fetch a high price with the right buyers. Fortunately, these smuggled turtles never made it that far out into the world. The little guys found themselves a newer, safer home in various Shanghai zoos where they could be properly monitored and cared for. But then in Malaysia, someone else tried to smuggle everything they could. Authorities caught luggage containing at least 5,000 turtles and 14 kilograms worth of drugs. The owners clearly didn't have any animal licenses to carry these red ear slider baby turtles with them, but their worth was projected at just over $18,000 if sold as pets. While maybe it's not an ethical pursuit, these turtles are worth some serious cash. No baby in this belly. For us law-abiding citizens, you might think there are only so many ways to sneak things onto a plane. But then there are those creative individuals who think they can get away with something no one else is willing to try. Unfortunately for this Canadian woman, wearing a fake pregnancy belly was not worth the risk. Tabitha Leah Ritchie was stopped before boarding her flight back home from Colombia when an anti-drugs inspector asked her how many months she had been pregnant. She told him she was seven months, upon which the inspector touched her belly 
and noticed it was cold and firm. He then moved her to a different room and started a frisk search that led to the obvious conclusion of her illegal scam. A fake belly made out of latex was strapped to her front, along with two grams of cocaine hidden inside. In total, the drug would have reportedly been worth $60,000 in Canada. But Miss Ritchie isn't alone in being caught for drug charges at the Colombian International Airport. Colombian officials have reported that at least 874 foreigners are currently being detained in the country's jails, with almost all of them related to drug charges. They say that pregnancy is a difficult time, but apparently so is smuggling drugs out of Colombia. <laughs> Snuggling tigers being smuggled. There are a lot of people that would do a lot of things to own an exotic pet, especially if it's one as cute as this baby tiger. Tigers found in the wild are rare and dangerous, but a baby cub can still be trained and raised by those with proper handling or at least a lot of money. It's no wonder these furry oversized kittens are part of such a hot smuggling ring. One woman in Thailand didn't even make it through the x-ray before security noticed something alive in her baggage. The woman was quickly arrested when it was revealed she was sneaking a three-month-old tiger cub on board. The poor baby tiger was exhausted, dehydrated, and unable to walk on his own, but eventually taken care of by the right people. In another case, a different tiger cub was sedated and put in a suitcase along with other tiger toys hoping to pass off as an inanimate object. X-ray scans fortunately caught this living creature as well, leading to another arrest and a saved tiger that will hopefully get the nourishment and affection it deserves. Tiny Tarantula Takeover A tiger cub or a pregnant belly might be hard to cover up when they're so large and noticeable, so you would think it'd be easier to hide smaller creatures, right? In this case, smaller doesn't actually mean less noticeable, especially when the quantity is huge. This smuggler was caught over their 757 tiny tarantulas that were found hidden inside cookie boxes. Talk about a nasty surprise when you're hoping for a treat. Customs officials in the Philippines had to deal with this horrifying discovery as they dug through some nicely gift-wrapped boxes of oatmeal cookies flown all the way from Poland. Of course, instead of cookies, there were hundreds of live, tiny, long-legged and venomous spiders tucked away. The cookie cases were made out of tin, probably as an attempt to hide the spiders from the x-ray scanner. As soon as he was found out, the man who claimed the boxes tried to declare the spiders as collection items, which is normally legal if you make the claim early enough. But other than attempting to bargain his way out of his secret spider stash, the wildlife laws in the Philippines prohibited him from making the claim. Collection and possession of these types of spiders is strictly illegal without the proper permits. In total, the customs officials estimated the value of the spiders to be around $5,900, which is quite the pretty penny for a bunch of creepy crawlies. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. They say not to judge a book by its cover, but apparently you shouldn't trust a drug smuggler by their appearance. This elderly grandmother would normally pass by many of us without a second glance. Who could possibly imagine that she was smuggling some hardcore drugs in her laptop case? But these drug officers at Gatwick arrivals in the United Kingdom already knew that many people are recruited for trafficking, specifically because they don't seem suited for the job. Ultimately, that experience and a lucky hunch was all it took for this woman to be caught. Her luggage was scanned an extra time through the x-ray just in case something was off, but her story checked out. She was just a friendly grandma trying to bring her granddaughter a laptop. But still, something was wrong and one officer noticed that the laptop in question had a screw missing. The agents took their chance and detained her laptop, prying it apart and finding foil meant to block the x-ray scanner. In the end, it turned out her laptop was carrying 530 grams of cocaine. Stowing drugs in laptops has been common enough for this hunch to have been proven right but it looks like this grandma isn't so sweet and innocent after all. She might not even be a real grandma. Gold, money, and more. Sneaking past airport security is tough when you're a passenger, but it's an easier one if you work for an airline. Being on the inside didn't seem to help this stewardess as she learned through experience that crime doesn't pay. She was caught by authorities after attempting to smuggle money across international lines, hopefully for the last time. Money smuggling is a pretty commonly attempted crime for airlines, but the larger the payout, the more likely you are to get caught. 
This stewardess was trying to bring across roughly nearly $400,000 in American money. Her cash was stowed away in her personal baggage that she kept separate from the public. It was also wrapped with aluminum foil that allowed it to safely pass by any scanners. This clearly wasn't her first rodeo based on how efficient she was. After detaining the stewardess and her supplier, the truth was revealed that their operation had made at least seven trips in two months to Hong Kong. Each time they'd been exchanging gold for unmarked cash and bringing it back with them. That's definitely a lot of money to go around. But if you're going to make a habit of smuggling, you better believe that you'll be caught sooner or later. Small snakes on a plane. How many snakes are too many to fit on a plane? If you're Samuel L. Jackson, one snake might be your breaking point. But if it happened to be riding on this flight, it looks like 121 is the magic number, at least for this failed snake smuggler. Technically, all it takes is one illegal snake to start an investigation. But this man wanted to push his limits and fit all 121 into his suitcase before boarding. The snakes in question were endangered ball pythons, known for curling up into balls when they're frightened. The smuggler used this knowledge to his advantage and wrapped them up in his baggage, then neatly stuffed them into black stockings. The snakes were finally hidden away in plastic containers that the smuggler tried to pass off as snake toys instead. Scanners did detect that the snakes were being held in a suitcase and some even moved around, prompting the search. The smuggler continued to argue that they were just toys and his time was being wasted, but you can see there that it was never going to end well for him. In the end, he came clean. His snakes were originally from Seattle and on their way to Hong Kong before being sold in Shanghai. The poor snakes were handed to the proper authorities where they were hopefully taken care of. A flight from Seattle to Hong Kong is a long way to go when you're stuffed in such a small bag. A hair-raising scheme If hiding illegal goods in your luggage is too obvious, where's the next best place to put them? Not that we're trying to advocate for these smugglers, especially since they've all been caught, but we can say for sure that you definitely don't want to use your hair. This woman learned that lesson the hard way after being caught trying to smuggle $10,000 worth of cocaine aboard a short flight. She nearly made it too. Even after scanners and baggage lines, it seems like she was almost ready to take off on her flight before someone found and reported her suspicious hairstyle. Wrapped up tightly in bundles between her actual hair and a wig were large wads of cocaine. The woman must have hoped no one would notice a few extra bumps on her head, but it might have been too distracting not to point out especially with the amount of cocaine bundles she stuffed up there. It's a wonder nobody stopped her earlier. There are also a few other cases of women being caught with drugs hidden in their hair. Several women have tried using hair extensions to hide drugs on their way out of Colombia. They wrap up the goods in tubes and tie them around their extensions before trying to sneak through security without any detection. Unfortunately for them, the scanners told a different story and all of them were eventually nabbed by the police. Maybe these women would be better off just staying out of these hairy situations. Golden Patches With all of those smugglers getting caught, you can imagine at least one of them used their head to sneak something through. And you'd be right, literally. These men went a step beyond hiding cocaine in their hair and instead used some convincing wigs to cover up over 5 kilograms worth of gold taped to their scalps. You heard that right. They were carrying the gold under fake hair and taped directly to their skin. But that wasn't all. Of the six men that were caught, it was reported that they each had some additional gold concealed in their socks, clothes, wrecked them, and aboard the aircraft they planned on using. It's no wonder they were found out. That's a lot of commitment for a lot of money, but if you make it too obvious, someone is bound to notice. Gold isn't the least suspicious of rare metals after all, but if it were cash, airport security still would have probably caught them. These guys may have been using their heads, but it doesn't seem like they had a lot of thought put into their plans. Maybe someone should have told the smugglers that using your head isn't meant to be taken literally. <laughs> Strapping on iPhones We've seen people smuggle illegal drugs and money, but what about iPhones? While they may not be as dangerous or threatening on a plane, normally you're allowed to bring your phone aboard with you. But this man definitely pushed his luck by trying to sneak in 146 iPhones under his clothes. The man came from Hong Kong 
and took his chances to smuggle all of those iPhones to mainland China for a quick and tidy profit. What he didn't expect was to be stopped by airport security for looking suspicious, but you would look suspicious too if you had so many phones strapped to your front and back. The smuggler definitely should have thought this plan through. Although he did almost make it to the plane his first time around, it was his stiff posture and awkward movements that really gave him away, which he tried to deny until the very end when it became way too obvious to hide. Phone smuggling has been on the rise in Shenzhen since Hong Kong has gotten a reduced price in their devices. Many people have made the effort to smuggle cheap phones out for resale, but like this man, they also have been getting caught. Preparation is key to success and some people think they can coast by with just 146 iPhones on their belt. Stuffed shoes. There's a reason why they have you take off your shoes when you get scanned at the airport. Apparently, these smugglers didn't get the memo. They were caught when someone noticed something fishy in their footwear, and further investigation led to a lot of found drugs and undeclared cash. For reference, it isn't that often when an investigator will notice every strange detail on the many people traveling through airports, but these workers definitely seem to know their craft. One woman pointed out that the strange markings on a pair of shoes is what tipped her off. She claimed that the smallest indentations could actually indicate that a shoe has been tampered with, and in this case, it was true. The shoes in the smuggler's baggage had packages of cocaine bundled up inside of the soles, and all it took was some strong pressure to get the work entirely undone. In a separate case, one woman was caught with hundreds of bills folded into small square packages and then stuffed into her heels that also should have gone undetected. When they took her into questioning and properly inspected her shoes, it turned out that she stuffed over 150 euros into her belongings. She was literally walking on money until they found her. <coughs> Cocaine cookie jars. So far, we've seen quite a few examples of the insane ways people have tried to smuggle drugs through airport security, but there's a man who really wanted to go the distance. He was 22 years old when he was caught with nearly four kilograms worth of cocaine valued at one million Malaysian ringgit. In American dollars, that's roughly $228,000. The man was believed to be a drug mule for an African cartel, probably being forced to carry the illegal substances against his will. Still, he could have been in cahoots with the drug lords, but only a private investigation will get to the heart of that matter. The drugs he carried were stored safely in 10 cookie containers, appearing innocent on the outside while having a protective foil layer on the inside to deter any scanners. Officials claim that cocaine is actually one of the rarer drugs to be found smuggled in and out of Malaysia. They're often more on the lookout for marijuana and shabu, which is a type of methamphetamine. It's still unclear what the consequences for the man will be, but once they have determined what his personal situation is, they can look at his consequences for drug transporting and give him a proper sentencing. Washing up gold. Thinking they could get a clean getaway, these smugglers tried to use soap to wash away their tracks. The story begins back in 2009 when Lux brand soap put on a contest to find 9,000 gold coins. The company hid their gold coins somewhere within 14,000 bars of soap while prompting buyers to look for the hidden treasure while they scrubbed themselves. Moving into the present, these criminals must have taken inspiration from the promotional event and decided to use the same branded soap and stash pieces of their own gold. This video was taken at an airport in Tamil Nadu. As the soap package was cut open, investigators peeled away the top layer to find what they were looking for. Inside was a plastic bag wrapped in black tape containing big pieces of gold. When all was accounted for and totaled up, the combined bars of soap were said to be equivalent to over 4 million American dollars. Maybe the gold smugglers should have taken their chances at finding a gold coin than transporting the soap through airport security. Could it have been the weight of soap that gave them away? The Limitations of Hair Talk about another hairy situation. In India, donating hair is a simple enough tradition, whether it's for temples from pilgrimage donations or used in wigs. The types of hair are separated into two categories, Remy and non-Remy hair. Remy hair is the nice type, the kind that people donate for charity and that fashion workers love and the non-Remy hair is a lower quality type of strand that can be considered a household waste when it falls off or used in cheaper wigs and hair pieces. Once the hair has been segregated into one of the two categories, it can be exported and sold to hair dealers. But because of a huge surge in demand as well as some dubious methods of exportation, 
transporting human hair across the borders in India has become much more restricted. Exporters need a license or permission under the Commerce Ministry from the Directorate General of Foreign Trade to transport hair. China, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Myanmar have also been in competition for India, and more cases of illegal hair smuggling seems to be a reoccurring event. So be mindful of your hair next time you visit one of these countries. You might be holding on to a payload that exporters could be after. Hopefully, you didn't pick up any bad habits from these awful smugglers. Remember, crime doesn't pay and none of these people made it out home free. But maybe next time you take a flight, you'll start to notice some things you hadn't before, like someone's hair being full of cocaine or a fake pregnant belly. But if you hear a living creature in somebody's suitcase, say something. Don't let the smugglers win.